Have you ever had the perfect cluster of a day where everything comes together to the point where you think you should have just stayed home, stayed in bed, and not bothered to try to be productive at all? Well, that was my day yesterday. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, with everything going on, like the move, the setup, the packing up, getting rid of junk, uh, there's been opportunities and needs to purchase items, items that I wouldn't normally have ever bought because I had said items, but these new items that you buy are smaller than the large items that you once had. There was a time in my life where my whole life fit into a small space, a small room, kind of like what I'm moved back into now. However, with living on your own, living in the house, living in apartments, you tend to buy bigger, occupy more space, have larger items. And then uh, when you try to move back into them small spaces again, you find that your good large items won't fit very well in them small spaces. And I've been having struggles of trying to fit my big double bed into there. Trying to fit my uh, whatever it is 48 or so inch TV and TV stand into the little 9x9 or 9x10 space trying to fit my five foot long uh, painting table in there, uh, my painting shelf uh, supplies and stuff, and my fans, my lights, and a few things. Still haven't been able to find uh, space for my desktop computer, which is kind of gonna have to be mandatory if I'm planning on carrying on this whole YouTube thing. Well, one of the recent purchases that I made was a smaller window style fan because I sold my large, whatever it was, 40 inch or 38 inch box fan that goes in the window. Now I maybe should have kept it because, well, replacements are anywhere from like 35 to 49 50 dollars and the small window fan fits the windows a lot better and i went out on the hunt for it there was a store that had a window fan like i wanted on sale for ten dollars less i went into the store to find it and uh Usually when an item's on sale, it's in the center of the walkways where you can find it. Or you can come across it in the home on the aisle. No, I wandered around the store for about a half hour, 45 minutes trying to find it. I was passed several times by associates that wouldn't even acknowledge that I was there. They were far too busy uh, walking around or doing whatever task uh, they were given to do or whatever. I went up to customer service trying to get uh, help and the two associates or, or so, so that are standing there talking to one customer. Well, this customer is laying it on thick how he has his beautiful property in BC with ponds and trees and nature and all this stuff and um, uh, and then, and then property out here, well, if that's the case, then what are you doing out here, you know? If I had a beautiful property like the way he made it sound, I would not be here. I would be out there at all times and not dealing with, uh, what goes on here. So I stood there and stood there and stood there waiting for this time waster that wasn't doing anything but stroking his ego in front of these two women to get done his story. 
when a cashier called me over and I showed her the picture of the item that was in the flyer, she goes, oh yeah, that's down aisle six. Well, I know darn well it wasn't because I was already down aisle six where the, the fans were several times. But to humor her, I went back over there, wandered around, and no, it wasn't there. I wandered around the store some more, and finally I gave up. I walked out to the front again. She notices me, quickly looks away. Of course, it's like she just sent me away to send me away. I said to her, I said, listen, you guys have cost your store sale. They had the bar clamps on sale that I want for my woodworking that I sold in 2018 that I want to rebuy. Uh, they had a straight cut guide and a couple other things. I was more than prepared to spend 300 or so, 250 $300 in their store that day if they would have had that fan. Because of her run around, the lack of customer service and the frustration, um, I didn't spend money there that day. They, of course, of course, to a large company like that, it doesn't really matter to them when it comes down to it, somebody like me, whether I spend money there or not. I went over to another big box retailer across the way who just built a brand new location, one of the largest stores like it that I've ever been in and wandered around looking for their fans. Because chances are they probably have it because according to the online inventory that I checked when I was on Wi-Fi, they had like 20 of them still in stock. So I was pretty sure that in that two hours or so they wouldn't have sold all of them out. I wandered around their store, wandered around their store trying to find the aisle that the fans were in. And it's a huge, large store, and I'm not 100% doing uh, well. I've made several trips up and down the stairs. I've lifted things I shouldn't. Still haven't really recovered from the whole camping thing, you know, the whole moving thing. But yet, there's stuff I need to do, so I gotta keep going. Finally, I found the fans, go up to the till and check out, so I guess you could say that was a success. I go over to an electronic store to buy a phone case for my phone because the case that I've had for four years now uh, basically disintegrated, uh, started to fall apart in chunks and pieces uh, a month or so ago and I've been carrying the phone without a case and I've dropped it a couple times and heard that dreaded snap and I thought, oh, oh you know, this is the first one I've ever broken. I don't want to really uh, ruin that streak of not breaking one. And I was able to uh, find where the cases were. However, I had to get down on my hands and knees like I was looking through the looking glass to find them. And I don't know why they got to move things down to the ground. Why can't they have them up a little higher? Or at least displayed a little more... Uh, easier to get at. Before this I had tried the big blue box retailer to try to find a case. I was in there already buying um, groceries for camping. I thought I found a case but their selection is so picked over, so um, mixed up and messed up that you can't find heads or tails so I skipped. I've noticed, I know I've commented on this before, but I've noticed a really big change in our customer service people. I, I understand what my grandparents said about the next generation not having the work ethic that we did because the generation that I see out there now, which would essentially be my kids if I would have had kids, you know, they're 18, 19, early 20s now. They, they don't have the work ethic that I did, that we did, and my generation did. They're standing around on their phone texting, which, unless it's become acceptable, was definitely discouraged when I worked there. There's five or six of them huddled around a till or a aisle in the store laughing and joking and talking about whatever they did the night before and not doing 
tasks at, at hand or helping the customers that are in the store. You know, there are times where I, even I need help when I'm in the store. Whether it's seeing fine print on things or being able to get things that are uh, at the back of shelves or up high or just trying to find things in general because some of these retail stores are forever changing around displays. They just enough, by the time you get things figured out where they are, they, they go and switch them again on you. And then right around the time you figure that out, they go and switch them again. So it's like a never ending uh, hide and seek, if you will. But all in all, the day was a frustrating day. It had a lot of hurdles. It was hot, it was muggy. You know, I was sore. I was kind of cranky, but trying not to take it out on the people that I ran into because of the previous stop, because it's not really their fault that the previous stop dropped the ball. But at the same time, just wanted to be cuddled up with the air conditioner, staying cool, or or even better yet, uh, camping somewhere in the middle of nowhere, away from all the buzzing and beeping and noise and hustle and bustle and sirens and exhaust noise and screaming children that you find here in the wonderful city. Just a little bit of a vlog, a little bit of an idea that I thought that I would share, put out there, and it is what it is. Thanks for watching Maxwell's Vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.